hey guys welcome back to Ables Tech. well in today's video i am going to uh, cover what are amazon ec2 instances how to connect them uh, before connect them how to of course how to create how to launch them what are the resources that you can assign to these instances how to connect them once it is launched and then termination so these are the, these are the steps that we are going to cover in today's video so without wasting much time let's get started so to start with um, log on to the uh, AWS console your AWS account so once you log in you get this AWS management console under this console you will see multiple services like compute developer tools machine learning mobile etc what we are going to see is EC2 so go ahead and click on EC2 instance now the EC2 instance is nothing but in short your OS it could be your Windows OS it could be your Linux OS and it so this is a combination of overall uh, resources so the instance uh, when you create an instance you will you get to choose what how much vcpu you want to assign to that instance to that os what is the ram how much um, disk ios and then the network throughput you get to choose everything and then you are built accordingly okay so we will see how to select the ones that we need as per our requirement okay now on this ec2 dashboard you see zero instances running yes that's because as of now i do not have any instance running now you can launch the instance that is you can create an instance either by clicking on this button or you go on the button on the option instance so let's click on the button launch instance okay so when you click on launch instance it gives you an option to choose an amazon machine image also known as ami so these are nothing but the machine images of a raw image of your windows os or uh, linux os and within linux you have red hat ubuntu cent os we are going to create a windows os that is free tier okay you can either scroll down and look for the windows os that you need or simply go to the search window and then type windows hit enter okay i will select free tier see this windows free tier windows server 2012 r2 base i will select this os and will try to launch the image or instance out of this ami now second option choose an instance type on this page the one that i discussed earlier you get to choose the cpu memory or the network performance that's the this is the page that i was discussing about now the free one the free tier for which you do not get charge is the t2 micro within this free tier you get one cpu one gigs of ram and you get the ebs volume only your storage will be an ebs volume just like a, a normal uh, magnetic disk type and then the network performance will be somewhat low to moderate and by default ipv6 support is available for all the instances if you need a larger uh, machine a powerful machine just select T3 large or you can, if you scroll down, you, there are multiple options that you can choose from. Okay. And um, the charges are different for different types of EC2 instances. Okay. For example, for T3 large, you have two vCPUs, you have eight gigs of RAM and then the EBS same. You, However, if you see here, it, the network performance that you get is up to eight gigabit. Okay. But since uh, for the video purpose, I'll just select the one that is for free and hit next that is configure instance details under this option we configure the details about the instance how many instance do you want to launch let's stick to once let's stick to number one we just want to launch the one instance okay and network so this is a vpc your virtual private cloud or virtual private network for now for um, testing purpose go ahead and select the default one don't try to play with the ones that are already in, a, in your setup select the default ones okay select the default subnet and remember auto assign public ip should be set to use subnet setting enable okay once that is done we do not need to make any changes to these options and 
simply click on add storage under add storage you get to add volumes okay so the the root volume is automatically added if you see sda1 and it is of 30 gigs uh, but the type of this volume will be general purpose ssd so it will be pretty 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 fast okay and the iops that you will get will the baseline will be 100 but it can go up to 3000 okay and so this option delete on termination so when you terminate your instance what happens to this volume right so it gets deleted that is what decided from this checkbox also if you want to encrypt this volume you can go ahead and encrypt it okay as of now it is not encrypted but if you want you can go ahead and select the encryption if needed you can also add an extra volume to this you can select the uh, placement of that volume you can select it if the it's not root because the root is taken right so the second one will be ebs you can um, then just specify the size specify the volume type and uh, delete on termination encryption so on i'll click cancel as i do not want to add any further storage to this instance next we are going to add tags now tags are very critical they help you to categorize your instances for example i want to categorize all the instances with t2 uh, with the instance type as t2 micro so if i add here um, a tag name instance type t2 micro okay and um, later on i can just filter out all my uh, instances with this tag okay or you this is also used to name your machine so that you can see it on the ec2 dashboard to give name here and just type w2k r2 w um, 2k12 r2 okay and these tags will get added to your instance as well as to your volumes okay once that is done click next configure security group the security group is your firewall you can define the inbound and outbound rules now this is an aws uh, ami or the instance that is running on the aws we will need to rdp so by default for windows the rdp inbound rule is enabled you have tcp protocol you have the port 3389 but you need to select the source ip the source ip from where you will connect to this machine now this is a test so i just select 0000, 000 but as a best practice you should specify the ip range that you will be using frequently you can either click on uh, anywhere ip or you can either select my ip once you select on my ip aws will automatically take the public ip of your machine and uh, only this ip will be allowed to connect to that machine in future for now we'll just go with the custom ip or uh, let me go with the anywhere ip and then select i uh, just mention the description access windows through rdp okay uh, create new security group it i uh, just hit review and launch it will create the security group for this instance this is the last page where you get to just review the settings before you launch the instance if you want to make any changes always go you uh, you can always go and hit previous page and make the changes so let's check the settings it's a uh, windows server 2012 r2 base t2 micro with one gigs of memory one cpu these are the uh, security groups right uh, they are open to all you get to see the instance details the number of instances that we have selected you also see the storage um, the 30 gigs of storage the root volume right and then the tags that we added we added two tags so you also get to see those two tags here the instance name and the instance type t2 micro and uh, w2k12 r2 so just go ahead and hit launch now this is an important one you need to select a key pair so key pair is like a lock and key pair we will create a private key pair for our purpose only you can use that key pair or your organizations can use it so we'll click on choose a key pair and create new key pair i'll name the key pair um, something with the windows name okay windows 2k12 r2 and just hit download key pair remember to keep this key pair safely as you will need this 
in future whenever you have to connect to your um, instances once you uh, decrypt and create a password you don't have to uh, keep it safe but in case if you don't remember the password you can always go back to the pem key and then uh, uh, decrypt or create a new password okay so the if you see it's it's downloaded here all i have to do is just click launch instance now it says your instances are now launching so let's wait for a while before we go ahead and connect to the instance i click on view instance and if you see it says pending initializing okay guys so the instance is launched um instance state say uh, shows as running and the status checks have also completed now let's go ahead and try to connect it so connect to your instance it says you can connect to your windows instance using rdp so let's download the remote desktop file download it successfully now we need to get the password so click on get password and then you need to choose the pem file that we had downloaded initially here's the pem file so just click on choose file and select the pem file that we had downloaded and hit on the button that says decrypt password so this is the password that you need to use in order to rdp your os so or rdp your instance click close and just open the rdp and paste the password that you had copied from that previous screen and hit ok so this will launch the instance okay so this is the instance that we just launched windows server 2012 r2 and um, this is exactly your operating system that is on-prem operating system that you see okay and uh, this is the host name on the right hand side you see the public ip address private ip address in which zone this is what's the instance type and what's the architecture okay i will um, just close this as we will go ahead and terminate the instance okay now before i terminate let me quickly show you few useful information here now i have selected this instance okay this is the public IP for this instance. It's the same IP that we used for RDP. Okay, let me show it in a folder. If you see EC2 3-8-11-8197, it's the same. 3-8-11-8197. This is your uh, public IP that you can also see. Uh, if you can also uh, ping to this instance using this public IP. Okay, you go to tags, you see the tags that we've created for this instance then uh, the instance type you see the availability zone where this instance resides the vpc ids the subnet id okay and the launch time when this was launched you also see the key pair name just in case if you do not remember the key pair in future what was the key pair that you use you can always uh, refer to this uh, you can come back and check the key pair that's associated with this instance okay root device and the root device type ebs okay now that that's covered so let's go ahead let's select so when you select the instance it gets marked in blue okay now i'll just click on actions and click on instance state hit terminate when i click terminate it will delete this instance and along with the instance it will also delete the volume that is associated with that instance please note that the instance termination takes a while somewhere from 30 to 60 minutes okay so i might not be able to show you uh, as we are on this console but once this is done these instances should get disappeared from the console now you can also go to the key pairs and check the key pair that we have created this is the key pair that we have created right so in case if you uh, want to create another key pair you can always create new key pair or you can also import the key pair that you have on your system okay cool i think that is all for this video i have covered um, all the basics thing here 
if if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment and um, i'll, I'll uh, be more than happy to answer those questions i hope you find this video helpful if yes please do hit like and do subscribe and yes thank you for watching the video once again cheers and have a great time ahead bye bye